Mr. Chairman, uh, the organizing, organizing committee, thank you for inviting me to, to talk about some personal, uh, it's a personal paper, a presentation about my uncle that I never met, Dr. Simcha Hershon Lederman, who was born in Pulavi and, um, in 1909, and I have no idea when he died, either in Warsaw Ghetto or in the Ponyatova camp. I will begin with my father. Um, his, fa his original name was Jörg Lederman. Uh, he became in Israel, Israel Ori. He was born in Lublin in 1916 and died in Natania in 1983. He started to study pharmacology with his brother, Fischer Lederman, who was a uh, um, veter veterinarian uh, surgeon. They escaped um, in 39, just after the beginning of the war to Russia. They were incarcerated in Siberian Gulag, and in 1943 they arrived in Palestine with the General Vladislav Anders army. My father deserted the army and joined the Haganah organization, and there they changed his name from Lederman to Ori. Ori in Hebrew, for those who are not familiar with Hebrew, it means my skin, Lederman. So he became Ori, and uh, but his a brother, the veterinarian surgeon, uh, stayed with the army and to Egypt, and from Egypt they landed in Italy, and he got the Monte Cassino Award. He stayed in Italy later on, he was sent to work uh, in Belgian Congo and Haiti. Um, Lublin, uh, as you know, is, uh, is uh, on the eastern, uh, located in the eastern part of Poland, so they were lucky to escape um, just after the beginning of the war and crossed the border to um, Russia. Um, Lublin Ghetto, the other fa family, members of uh, our family were perished in uh, either in Belgium's uh, concentration camp or Maidanek, which are not far away from Lublin. Uh, I tried to find uh, pictures from Lublin, uh, pre the pre-war Lublin, and from the Jewish part, and I believe these are a few examples. Uh, of the lost uh, 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 world of Lublin, pre-war Lublin. This is a picture of Lublin uh, during the occupation and a few uh, stamps from the Lublin uh, Deutschstadt when the, it was a, a part of the General Gouvernement uh, structure. And a few more stamps and uh, my father told me very little about uh, his brother, uh, Dr. Simcha Lederman, who perished in the Holocaust with the rest of our family. Simcha and his cousin, Moshe Kleinbaum, uh, he, became, he became a prominent figure in the Haganah organization and later on uh, leader of the Communist Party. Uh, he, his name was Kleinbaum and later on he changed it to Sne. Uh, they both finished medical studies at uh, Warsaw University in 1935. Only in 2004, my wife and I, we found uh, Simcha's personal document at the Central Medical Library in Warsaw, the Jewish Historical Institute, and the archives uh, of uh, Warsaw University. So we learned that after graduation in 1935, Simcha volunteered to work uh, as an unpaid job at the Department of Internal Medicine at the main Jewish General Hospital uh, in uh, Warsaw, which is called Chiste. It's located in Chiste district. Uh, at the Warsaw, Warsaw Jewish Hospital, Simcha became acquainted with the dermatologist and one of the founders of both uh, or Jewish organiza medical organization that we mentioned later, TOZ and ZILRP organization. He met uh, Dr. Israel Milejkovsky, who later recruited Simcha to the Hunger Disease Research Project in the ghetto. This is the only picture uh, I have in my collection. Uh, on the right, sorry. On the right, this is the veterinary uh, official, Dr. Fischer Lederman and Dr. Simcha Lederman here with uh, the family. My father is not. Uh, you cannot find him in this picture. Anyway, uh, this picture of Simcha Lederman I just found in, in, the, in the 2004 in the archives of Warsaw University in his personal file. We found all the 
uh, file docu- all the documents um, that he presented to the uh, uh, university. This is a, on the le- on the right side. What was um, I think very uh, in, uh, um, all the lecturers and instructors were uh, had to sign after each uh, semester of each course on the right side, and this is his personal um, files. Simcha Lederman here. Um, uh, when Simcha was a medical student. We found a m- document from Lublin's Jewish organization stated that uh, the poor economic status of the Lederman family. You want to be exempted, I believe, from uh, paying so much money to university. Another letter uh, we found uh, stating Simcha's inability later on in the se- in the late 30s uh, to pay membership f- fees to both the General Me- Polish Medical Association and the Jewish one. Uh, this is the um, uh, uh, document from 1930 when he was a student asking for the uh, uh, Lublin uh, Jewish organization to uh, uh, to to, uh, to say that uh, the family is poor and he is unable to um, pay all the payment that is required for the university. This is these uh, students' um, car the document very. Uh, uh, well preserved with this picture, another one um, <coughs> from the, uh, uh, again from the same file, and this is I believe a very rare um, document. It is a paper that states that he is a medical student, and it is uh, written in Hebrew, uh, Polish, and Yiddish uh, about the uh, uh, that he is part of the um, a Jewish uh, Polish. Uh, medical practitioner. Uh, today, the uh, Chiste Hospital still exists. It is a city hospital. Um, sorry. Uh, part of the buildings are not well preserved and are falling apart, uh, but most of the uh, buildings are still in use. Um, uh, my, 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 my uncle uh, had to earn some money, so he uh, worked in a special hospital uh, that treated poor people um, parallel to his work at the Chisler Hospital. Throughout our search uh, in these libraries and archives, we discovered a lot of material uh, of the lost world, of the inter-world war, uh, Jewish-Polish medical activities, which resulted uh, uh, with two papers that my wife and I wrote, one about Dr. Gershon Lewin, a pioneer of public health and promoter of Jewish culture in Poland, and the other one about the uh, dedicated physician in the face of adversity. Uh, We described the association of Jewish physicians and the Jewish health organization in Poland between the world wars. Both were uh, published in the Journal of Poland, Brandeis University, United States. Uh, The Jewish Medical Association existed for 16 years, and they had about 280 regular meetings. Most frequent topics were neurology and cardiology, often illustrated by presenting patients from the Jewish hospital in Warsaw. In the 30s, the association started its own scientific committee, which invited well-known non-member specialists, even from abroad, to give lectures. Most members also belong to the medical societies according to their specialities. There were uh, there was a close tie. Uh, were close ties between the association of the Polish Society of Social Medicine, uh, initials PTMS. Um, they have a clear leftist orientation. Members were either social democrats, socialists, or even communists, and most of them were Jews. The purpose of this organization was to organize a health care system for the general population in Poland. Over 200 members preparing proposal in specific fields to fight against tuberculosis, infectious diseases, blindness, care of psychiatric patients, school children, etc. Clinical medicine section responsible for lectures and publication. Uh, they created one journal for these two organizations. Since papers written by Jewish physicians were rarely accepted for publication by a Polish medical journal after 1921, the PTMS and the ZLRP, the Jewish Medical Association, 
Um, uh, so this journal served both organization uh, as an unofficial organ, printing reports about the association activities and scientific papers by its members. This is a map, uh, uh, just uh, um, the red color, just um, pointing about the main hospital uh, in Lithuania and Poland before the war. There were about 47 Jewish uh, hospitals uh, uh, in this uh, in Lit Lithuania and Poland, mm -hmm. and they were heavily supported by the American Joint Com Distribution Committee. This is the uh, main uh, medical journal, Polska Gazeta Lekarska, that uh, after 21 rejected papers uh, written by Jewish uh, doctors. And this is the new one, the Warszawski Czastopismo Lekarski, which, uh, as you see, there is no, uh, the word Jewish uh, does not appear in the name of the journal, but rather a general Polish medical journal. Um, they have also uh, these two organizations, the TOS and the ZLRRP, uh, published uh, uh, medical news and, uh, in, Yiddish, in Jewish uh, language and in Polish. This is uh, uh, the, 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 uh, one of the Jewish uh, news daily uh, or weekly newspaper. Um, Bereuth in Hebrew means uh, health, or in Polish, Zdrowy. And uh, there was another uh, journal that uh, published work by, written by Jewish doctors. Um, or uh, this one, Falskesund, um, which means uh, Falskesund, uh, the health of the Jewish people in Yiddish. Luckily, I found in Israel, in second-hand uh, bookshop, and I bought all bunch of Fal Falskesund. I'm not sure it exists anywhere. Um, we didn't find it in any, in any other places. And um, I, I, it seems that I am reading this uh, journal, but I have no idea of a word in Yiddish. <laughs> but um, it's nice to uh, overview the 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 journal, the the newspaper. Uh, another uh, medical journal, uh, medical journal was Meditichna Spolechna, uh, written by prominent leading uh, Jewish doctors from Poland and even from other countries like Germany, France. And of course, the general newspaper, uh, Gazeta Zhidovska, uh, that published also some uh, medical news. Uh, the TOS organization, uh, the Society for Safeguarding of Health and Jewish uh, for the f uh, of the Jewish population, was created and established in Warsaw in 1921 uh, by Jewish physicians and community leaders. Um, they inspired by the PTMS ideals. And many of the, the Jewish medical organization uh, or the um, PTMS, the social uh, organization members, became active in TOS. They were they, they, they focus, they focus their activities in preventive medicine, clinics, nurseries, health care for school children, summer camps. They aim to fight against specific uh, diseases, support for 74, uh, 47. Jewish hospital in Poland. They maintain a national convention of Jewish physicians. In 1939, those had paid staff nearly 1,000 people and a couple of thousands of volunteers. The last activities during the Holocaust, they contribute to the health services in Warsaw Ghetto, participation in research project uh, on the effect of hunger and association members fought, uh, taught clandestine medical courses in the ghetto. Until late 1942, TOS continued to work under appalling condition. They gave first aid, clinics, hospital, individual help. TOS forced by the Nazis to become part of the Jewish social self-help. One of the few TOS people who survived and gave us a lot of information, um, General Secretary Dr. Leon Wulman. Uh, at the S Jewish uh, Historical Institute in Warsaw, we found uh, about 130 document death certificates signed by my uncle. Um, this is uh, the death certificate. Most of the, of course, the cause of death was e either hunger or typhus and xanthematicus. And you can see down there the 
his signature. You can see here Dr. S. Lederman, a specialist in internal medicine, uh, and his signature up here. Unfortunately, my father died uh, many years before I, we found these um, documents. Another document we found from uh, May 1st, 1940, when the German asked for, for a list of all the non-Aryan. It's, it's, it's written here in Polish. Yes, I finished. I finished. Uh, uh, the non-Aryan list of, of uh, uh, well, Jewish physicians, and here, down here, you see Simcha Lederman, number 386, living in Solna, uh, Ulitsa, Solna, Solna Street, number three. Another page with his uh, signature, and um, of course, all of us are aware of the hunger disease, and you can find on the uh, first page his name appearing. Uh, uh, over here, Dr. Simcha Lederman. And of course, uh, many years later, my father filled this, the Yad Vashem form, uh, stating about his uh, lost family, especially this about Simcha Gershon Lederman, who lost uh, and uh, died in Warsaw Ghetto, probably. Thank you very much for your attention.